Good evening. Whilst record-breaking heats will make the headlines here in the UK and across Western Europe over the next few days, it's been the story across the United States for the past few. And on Sunday night into Monday morning, 28 degrees was the lowest the temperature got in Boston, making it their joint warmest night on record. The heat, though, has been breaking down with some severe storms flooding in New York on Monday afternoon. Bringing about that change is fresh air pushing down from the north behind this weather front. It's on that where we continue to see severe storms across southern and eastern parts of the United States as we finish Tuesday. Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Boston, all still within that zone. But in these major cities in the east, things turn dry through Wednesday itself as that plume of moist, humid air pushes off out in towards the sea and across parts of Florida too. Now it's still going to be hot out there but temperatures will have dropped and the humidity levels have dropped but still seeing temperatures into the 80s in Fahrenheit, high 20s in New York with that blazing sunshine overhead to see the week out. Now to Europe we go and of course we've been talking about the wildfires in Portugal. They are still yet to be brought under control. They Weather conditions not helping matters and across other parts of Western Europe, tinderbox is developing. Now if I just show you some of the uh, European temperature records in Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands and Germany, these are all time records, 38 to 40 degrees. We could smash them as we go into Thursday. Temperatures are still set to climb further. High pressure is firmly in charge across Central Europe and that's keeping things dry, keeping skies clear. So by day with strong sunshine overhead, the the ground is dry and ground, dry ground warms up much, much quicker than wet ground. And so that's why we've seen the temperatures build. And we're bringing a little bit of warmth too up from northern Africa as well. So all that into the mix, seeing temperatures high 30s, already low 40s in one or two spots, particularly in France on Wednesday. Cooler out towards the east of Europe where there's one or two showers and thunderstorms. And that high pressure is going to be sitting there into Wednesday. Low pressure pushing to the west of Ireland and UK. That helps to bring a bit more of a southerly flow, adding a bit more humidity into the mix and continuing to lift those temperatures. So Thursday afternoon, this is the peak of the heat across the UK and across northwestern parts of Europe. Paris could shatter their all-time record, but it's around the Benelux, western Germany, where we're most likely to see the all-time temperature records tumble. First time for parts of the Benelux anybody has seen anything above 40 degrees. That heat breaks down though across the UK and France. See there in London and Paris as we go through Friday and into the weekend. Atlantic air winning its way back. But if things turn a bit cooler across the other parts of northwest Europe and through Scandinavia, temperatures will climb up into the low 30s for some.